If you suffer from motion sickness, you probably want to sit this one out. Just some advice from your friendly neighborhood film junkie. What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry, of course, is an action flick that is shot entirely, entirely first person. As you can see from the trailer, you guys have probably watched the trailer, it really looks like a video game, and I'm here to tell you, yes, it plays out like a video game. The movie of Hardcore Henry, you basically have Henry waking up. He's been through some kind of terrible a accident. He's got his wife, like, putting on body parts, like cybernetic body parts, telling him that, you know, hey, you're now part robot really and they're going to do some testing and everything but then there's like this whole organization called the Aiken Arkin ah I forgot who want him back so they chase after him you know they, that whole thing and then they kind of kidnap his wife and then you got this whole story it's shot entirely first person and I'm here to say that this movie was a lot of fun did I love it no I didn't love it but this movie is a ton of fun it's relentless, it's intense, it doesn't let up. That's for damn sure. The action just keeps going and going and going and going and going. And I think that's where it kind of suffers. And I'll get to that in a minute. What I really loved about this movie is how they achieve some of the action in this movie, especially when it's all shot entirely first person. I mean, I remember seeing some behind the scenes footage of like them pretty much essentially strapping a GoPro to a dude. A lot of parkour kind of stuff. A lot of just crazy shit that you're going, how do they achieve that? I mean, they do use jump cutting, you know, they'll cut to something real quick to just keep the pace up which is fine but sometimes they utilize some really creative editing that 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 just really works like especially with the action sequences and this movie is fucking gory charto Copley, i tell you what this guy i love this guy i love this actor because anytime you see in a movie even if the movie's bad you go you know what i still love him and he's great in this movie he's funny he's got a cr his character is crazy i don't want to reveal too much because he's got like the a little aspect of his character is quite different and i can't reveal too much i don't want to reveal the spoiler just in case you guys want to see it but all i gotta say is i loved his character his character is a badass as well his character is funny so he really shines in this movie who doesn't shine in this movie is the villain and that's usually where these movies suffer is the villain is just kind of just like this over the top uh, why are you talking like that? In this case, we have albino Kurt Cobain. Yeah. His character is very over the top. It doesn't really work at times. He tries to be funny. He's got something that's a part of his attributes that I don't quite understand. It doesn't really, they don't really tell you why he has this. But overall, I mean, I guess you do need some kind of villain. But it just, it's always a weak point in these movies. And for, for sure, it was albino Kurt Cobain. And after a while, the point of view stuff gets kind of old. It does. Like, I, I know this movie was based off like a short film like, shot like this, and that's how they made this movie, but emphasize the word short. After a while, it just gets old, and I always thought a movie like this would be like amazing. Like, if you shot everything entirely first person like an action flick and make it look like a video game, which they do achieve that, I just didn't realize that after a while, you're just going, all right, ah, can we just see some regular stuff now? Because the movie essentially just doesn't go anywhere. It really doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't really build up to anything. I mean, yes, you see it. the story kind of resolve itself, but it's just, just like that. Bam, bam. There's that, there's that, there's that, there's that. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's over. And that's pretty much what it is. So, I mean, yeah, I don't think it's trying to achieve like something like fan-fucking-tastic and it's going to get super critical praise it's really for people who like action movies and who like first person video games very much plays out like a first person video game I'm like to the t so i liked hardcore henry i really enjoyed it but am i gonna put it on the wall of favorite movies of 2016 no i'm not like i said it was great time it's a lot of the action sequences and all that stunt work was fantastic Charto Copley, if i'm saying that right he was great but it's just like i said it just kind of just gets old after a while and i'm going okay at first i, I thought this was going to just be amazing because i even had the idea like what if they shot a movie like this but yeah it really should only be for a short amount of time maybe they'll have movies where they have this like this at certain points and then they'll just have a regular movie for other points that would actually work a lot better so let me know if you saw hardcore henry down below in the balls area and let me know what you thought about it and uh yeah guys see all that do all that whatever and yeah like i said if you have if you suffer from some motion sickness don't see this movie because even i was sometimes going whoa all right everything's moving quite fast and yeah you can get pretty dizzy and thank you for watching, you beautiful people. You go ahead and hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel too. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos.